So we are going to summarize and display the 200 values of this variable. Uh, uh, no, sorry, right here in this data set, which shows the weights of 200 subjects in pounds. All right, so what I can do is I can click on the top here, copy this data, and then go ahead and paste it. Or I can also import the data directly into, uh, let me see why, yeah, here it pasted it. Or I can import the data directly from Excel, but anyways. So here we have all the data listed, and then I can do this, go to stat, and I want uh, the summary statistics from columns, right? And which column am I trying to study? The uh, weight underscore 50. So I will go ahead and ask it to compute these values. Okay. Now, if you look into this, you can see that the minimum value is 109 pounds and the maximum is 200. 45 and then you have mean, standard deviation, median and all the information that you need at the moment. Okay. Now knowing that the minimum value is 109 pounds and the maximum is 245, uh, let's go ahead and construct a histogram, say starting at 100 and, and in the uh, interval width of say 10 units. Okay. So we will go for a graph, all right, and we will say histogram, and we want the histogram of this co this column, and we would like to start the bins or classes at 100, and we would like to keep the bandwidth at, say, 10. I mean, that's what I decided. So, you know, somebody may, cho may, may choose a different option. So that gives us this histogram. And I can copy this histogram and paste it in a Word document or, you know, wherever I want to export it to. All right. Now, in order to create a box plot, all I have to do is go to graph, then go to box plot. Okay. And select the same variable. Okay. And uh, here we want a simple one. So this should give us a simple looking box plot. A box plot of this data which I can paste in my document. Okay.